All right, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines. Today we're once again in Deep Turtle City, but this time we're gonna talk about a mod. I got so many questions from you guys, I got so many uh, requests about this mod, and here I am to do this video about Traffic Manager President Edition. We're gonna go through all the functionalities and the options that this mod uh, provides us with and I will show you guys a secret weapon that will change completely your life in the game. For this video um, I'm going to focus on this area of the map because I think it has all the ingredients for a very nice video uh, because there are a lot of intersections um, there is a lot of traffic because it's the port so there are many uh, trucks uh, going to the city there are cars going there people going to work so I think if we focus in this area and we uh, use uh, traffic manager present edition I can show you everything that this mod uh, can help us with and it's gonna be much easier for me so let's go and let's see how it works so the first thing you need to know is that after you install the mod using um, the workshop using steam you will find this icon here which actually you can move wherever you want so for the purpose of this, of this video I will leave the icon here so it's gonna be much easier for us to to see it uh, today I'm gonna show you all the different options here so it's gonna be uh, kind of a long video but uh, I will try to make it as simple as possible so let's start with the first one which is the uh, traffic light uh, toggle so this is actually pretty easy uh, because it's uh, it's actually kind of yes or not so in the sense the traffic light uh, active or inactive so for example here I don't have a traffic light but let's say that uh, I want to activate it I just click on this icon here and then here as you will see there is now a traffic light here so cars coming from this road this road and this one will stop as you see now In this case there is the red I think <laughs> you cannot actually see well but yeah I guess this is now uh, red for this uh, cars here so easy one nothing to know um, uh, about that the next one it's the time traffic light so this is actually a very cool one let's speed up a little bit so we can see more uh, cars coming so at the moment as you can see the cars are stopping here because there is the traffic light so let's deactivate it so remember click this icon go here boom you can do the same actually with the native uh, icon on on city skyline which is this button here traffic roads and then you go to junction you can enable or disable the traffic light so it's pretty much the same thing now we want to analyze the uh, the other icon here which is the time traffic light so this is basically very important and uh, I personally don't use it a lot but it will help you when there are in certain situations so let's say that for example you have a main road like this one here and then you have a small road on the side so this is the perfect actually situation where you can use this uh, functionality because you can set a traffic light with different timing uh, for the different uh, roads so if you see that for example there are less car coming from this road or this road and many more coming from the main road here then you can set a time uh, where these cars and these cars coming from here they will wait a little bit more than the cars and the trucks coming from the main uh, road so let's try it so you click on this icon here and then you click on the uh, node where you want to activate this uh, traffic light you will see that this window uh, will open here and what you can do is uh, set up the time traffic light the moment you click on this button here you will see that there are now one two three uh, traffic lights all right so this one here uh, regulates the traffic coming uh, for, for the cars and the trucks coming from from this road and uh, of course this one from this cars and trucks and this one from the guys coming from here 
and then what you need to do is adding different steps so for example the first step all right so what i want is that this is uh, green which means that cars coming from here can pass the same uh, for this one here and uh, the uh, you can assign of course different time so for example i want these cars or trucks they wait for let's say 20 seconds a maximum 30 seconds in case there is a lot of traffic and a lot of cars that they want to pass right and then there are different options here uh, usually the, the default one is this one more waiting than driving so in case there is a lot of traffic and, and cars and trucks waiting then there is this, this rule here which is that the cars wait a little bit more than driving which means that if you give a range of time like 20 up to 30 seconds then they will wait a little bit more uh, before passing all right so this is the first step uh, after you set it up you do add and then there is the first step which is as you will see this will wait um, uh, 20 seconds you can see also i think the time somewhere uh, we didn't start uh, yet so let's add one more which is now this is red this is red and they can pass but this will actually uh, last more because i want this car to wait a little bit more so let's say 30 seconds and then uh, 40 seconds right you do add and then once you have created those two you can do start as you can see now there is this uh, timer here which indicates the time uh, that the green light uh, is active so in this case there are 12 seconds 10 seconds and so on and this as you can see they're waiting much more all right now once uh, this go to zero we go with the second step which means this two becomes red as you can see and this one uh, becomes a green and now since we set up uh, um, a longer timer this car will actually pass much more what are they doing why they don't wait there all right sorry so yeah you can add as many stop as you want uh, this is very cool in in situation where for example like i said before uh, there is one road which has much more uh, cars and trucks than the other one and then you want to you know you want to facilitate actually those cars and those trucks uh, to pass and in the intersection right so now we stop it we delete because we don't need uh, this traffic uh, light here and we remove the traffic light so they're just you know free to go the uh, third one the third button here so first of all let's see if there is still the yeah the traffic light is still here they activate now there is no traffic light they just you know savage wild cars in on the road uh this one is the manual traffic lights uh, it's pretty much uh, similar so but in this case you basically um you know manually set up everything so for example i just you know click on the green button and then they pass if I don't do anything, then the situation will remain like that. So basically everything will be red except uh, from, uh, you know, this this one here. It's like, you know, there is uh, the police guy in the middle of the road just helping uh, uh, the intersection to work a little bit better. I never use this uh, function because I, mean, I, I think it's pretty useless the moment anyway you need to. Uh, you need to make it work and then you just do it like that and then you make this car pass I, I mean there is really no sense or the only thing you can you know the, the only reason why you probably use it is because there is you have I don't know a traffic jam somewhere you want to understand a little bit better what's going on and then you just help the car to pass and and uh, you know just I think just like that so let's remove this we don't want any traffic light here uh wild wild west all right for the other option which is the lane connector we will move in this section uh because it's much easier for me to show you how it works so all right i'm talking about this one here the lane connector so what the lane connector does uh basically you can decide where the car should go uh, after crossing one uh, road one intersection so let's say that for example you have the cars here uh, 
uh, you can tell them for example then if they want to pass this intersection they need to go to the first lane or to the second to the third one this is very useful i will show you now placing um, a manual traffic light so you see actually guys we're using it it's not that useless let's wait uh, a little bit the cars to come okay so let's do this I use the uh, in this case uh, this lane connector because I want the cars coming from here to go to the first lane so what I do is guys from here they go to the first lane you you see now they're going to the first lane why they went they need to stop stop all right like that so the the best way to use it now for example because in this case both uh, these cars and trucks and this one they will go both of them to the first lane and this will create traffic this will create a situation where they need to wait uh, before to pass which is not ideal so what we want to do in this case is telling the cars so you select the node telling for example uh, the cars coming from this lane to go to the second lane and the cars coming from this lane to go here so as you will see there won't be any trouble anymore let's select all right you see they don't stop at all they just keep going and there is no traffic and no uh, slowdown in the cars now let's go I will show you again so to remove the connection you click on the node like here and then left click here left click here again and right click you, you remove basically the connection same thing here left click left click right click right so there is um, no lane connection anymore let's put again the traffic light here uh, let's wait a little bit more all right so if i go now you will see that these cars and these cars will try to go to the same lane which will be a mess uh, look so no traffic light all right you see they stop this guy stop this guy stop and it's really a big slowdown which will create a lot of traffic in your city so for example the way you can use it is just deciding you know to uh, move the cars from this lane to this one here and this guy here and as you can see now no mess no slowing down everyone is happy with that the other option we have is this guy here the lane arrows this is super important this is very very nice and let's go back actually to the other side of the road i think this is a little bit better so as you can see for example there is a lot of traffic coming from uh, the port and of course they want to use this main road to go back to the city but <clears throat> for example let's say that i want the cars to leave this area by using this other connection here so what i can do for example is that instead of uh, letting them turning on the left because it's the way actually they go then on this road here i tell them just to go straight so what you do you select this um, icon here you go on the street on the road that you want to change the rule and then you can see here you have the three lanes as you can see the first lane which is this one you can go on the left if you remove this one there is nothing actually you can do but now i want them to go straight the same here the same here so now sorry for my cat he's calling me oh look they're super smart they are going there i know actually yeah and then let, let me do the same thing here so i want the guys from here just to go straight right so now they don't have any options anymore so everyone coming from this road it's forced to use the other main road to go back to the city and you will see that there is oh look there are so many cars here now you we will see how this is gonna work now with a lot of cars all right but the guy here they can actually go down so the guys here let's create another rule they are forced all of them to go to the right easy right 
something like that so now will they just go on the right you see and there is no traffic anymore here cool the other option that we have uh, with the mod is this guy here this will talk automatic vehicle to uh, the spawn if there is a lot of traffic so now I removed it I don't know how to show this to you let me think so for example if there is a lot of traffic if there is let's create for example a traffic light which will last forever all right so the manual traffic we put it here all right so counter we just wait if i enable this one you will see guys that the trucks in this lane since the guys they don't want to wait um you know forever to pass they will disappear they will basically disappear and it's like they actually did their job so for example if this car this truck is supposed to go to the city to deliver some goods you see there was a truck there you see here they they're just disappearing because there is a lot of traffic they don't want to wait they don't want to create more traffic and they basically disappear so this is of course a function that will help you with with the traffic because the moment uh, the vehicle is it's, it's called actually easy mode less traffic jams because instead of creating jams in the traffic they just disappear so you won't see huge uh, lines of, of cars waiting in the queue i usually don't use it so it's always disabled because i don't have uh, situations in which there is a lot of uh, traffic let's deactivate this traffic light and they are free to go the other option we will talk now is the priority signs this is also very nice to use um, especially when there is a, an intersection with a lot of cars uh, meeting at the intersection so let's say that in this case you click on the node and then you can select different uh, signs for um, for the different roads so in this case uh, i'm telling them to wait uh, these cars to pass and they have actually uh, priority on, on this one here you can select the um, I don't know what's the name exactly of this one should be like uh, that they have priority basically this one is that they need to wait uh, this car but they don't need to stop which basically means that they have the priority but the cars coming from here need to give this cars priority and then there is the stop sign which means that they anyway they need to stop even though there is like this case there is no one anyway they need to stop so you can play around with this um, if you have a lot of cars coming from all the direction then you can decide to prioritize for example some specific road um, rather than another based on the traffic that you have on your city so in this case for example if I do the stop a priority and um don't stop but give priority you see there is a mess because anyway they need to stop all the time so i i use it but not that often to be honest uh this one the junction restriction very very nice i use it a lot especially for this uh function here so let me uh, disable now so it will be easy to explain so in this case uh, what happened is that as you can see the cars they stop because there is the uh, pedestrian pass here uh, the zebra how do you call it and and you know they, ju they just wait they just stop but stopping means that they create traffic behind them as you can see because anyway every car every truck stops and then they create some sort of delay right and the same uh, these cars and trucks coming from here uh, using that function so you select the node using this function here you basically tell the cars to go and not stop at all so as you can see they just go now they don't stop they don't you know they don't use their brake and you know look around to see if there is someone they just really go wild and savages as we like and uh, you can do the same for the guys here and the same for the guys here so in this case no one stops they just keep going and uh, it's super cool 
this um, sign is actually to allow or not pedestrian uh, to cross the street so in this case it's there is no pedestrian here because it's a port there's no one but usually let me show you actually in the city the way for example I use it um, I create uh, some bridge uh, you know in order for uh, the citizens actually to pass from one side uh, of the road sorry yeah so for example in this case uh, let me show you yeah they cannot cross the street see there is the sign here everywhere so they cannot cross the street which is actually uh, much better because the cars they can just go keep going they no stop but what I've done here I've created this which is a portal uh, for six lane which basically allow people to cross the street using this underpass um, so they basically just go down so you can see people using it they disappear from here they appear here or people from the other uh, side of the street disappearing here and then they appear uh, to the other side right this is very you look how many people using use it you see here they just go down here and they appeared one again here I did the same uh, here so they can cross basically all the direction and they don't create a mess in the intersection and if you have a city for example like this one where you have a lot of intersections around I can tell you guys that this helps you a lot right let's go back to the mode and we were actually here let's speed it up a little bit all right so uh, the other option is the speed limit this is a very cool one and I personally use it especially when I want the cars or the trucks uh, to prefer a road instead of another one so think about that the way the mechanics the algorithm uh, works is that usually car uh, choose the shortest um, the shortest path uh, to go from one direction or, or another based also on the speed so for example if they know that I will show you uh, the day can use this road and they can go only 10 kilometers per hour right like that but that they can use this one which goes actually 120 you will see that they will use this one instead because it's much easier much faster look how slow they're moving here so you will see that probably this guy to go back home they will use yeah the main road there look at that because they know that here they will go they would go very very slow so unless there is a specific reason like in this case this guy had to go here because of this container they would prefer the fastest way right so play a little bit with the speed if you want some uh, car to prefer a specific path you know road instead of another I don't remember now what was the speed I think it was 60 so let's go back to 60 again and so this is this is useful no limit of course you can go as fast as you want <laughs> uh, yeah but just play a bit around based on on, on the needs and then this uh, this will uh, delete all the speed so it will basically uh, restore the, the the default speed and then you have this button here which will apply the speed to the entire road so for example if I want if I change just one portion of the road to 90 and then I want to go back to 60 for all the roads I just click 60 apply to the entire road and then you see it will select the entire road till the next um, intersection all right that's very useful so let's use this option and let's say that I don't want the trucks uh, to use this uh, this lane so you will see that all the trucks they will go straight away or they will turn to the left let's see you see straight away straight straight or left straight or left and then for example I don't want um, the cars coming from this road 
uh, to go here actually no coming from here but also from here from any direction they cannot use this uh, lane so this is only for track basically let's see how it works so for example you see all the cars they're not turning on the right here all the cars here they just go here but no cars can use these two lanes here so this is also very cool because for example you can uh, you can uh, basically play around a little bit with these options uh, if you need uh, you know the cars to go some specific road or if you don't want them because the road it's very busy and you want just a track then you can use uh, easily this function here it's super nice uh parking restriction it's pretty much the same so as you can see now here there are a lot of parks uh, sorry a lot of cars parked here if i click this button here they will disappear and the cars will park somewhere else you can also hold shift while you do that and this will be applied to the entire road as you can see now they're parking you know in in places where they can and then shift and click and they will again uh, they, they will you know uh, they will park if they want on the road uh, I think this is the last one which is the clear traffic <laughs> it's it's a very funny one because the moment you click this button here all the cars disappear completely from uh, the city we can talk to now about the secret option which is exactly so if you click on option and then traffic manager present edition you go to gameplay this is the the option that will change completely your life in this game so enable advanced vehicle ai uh, remember guys to enable this option because the, the the cars and the truck will be much smarter and they will know exactly how to move where to go uh, and this is much much better than the vanilla configuration the vanilla um, settings so this is also a bar which will increase the percentage of vehicle performing dynamic lane selection which means that they if you select 100% uh, they will basically be very smart and they will be very independent so even though you set for example sp um, a specific uh, path for them they can decide to change it uh, if they they think it's 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 you know it's better for them to move in the game i usually uh don't set uh, it's it's zero percent but you can play with it and see if this will improve or or um you know your your traffic all right guys um before we click on the uh, last option which is this one here i want to show you uh the percentage flow the traffic flow of my city which is at this moment 86%, which is a good result. You can see that there is almost, yeah, now 87, 86. So it's all green. There is nothing major, of course, here, you know, it's there is a bit of an industrial area here, uh, the airport here with this intersection, but just a bit of traffic. It's, it's, it's not even traffic, it's just a bit of cars going. Um, so you know if you use correctly the mod and 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 the, the, the roads uh, using the right uh, you know choosing the right roads for every situation you will create every city without any issue of uh, traffic I uh, create another video that you can watch about how to choose the right roads which I will leave in the description and Let's click on the last and final button, which is this guy here, which will clear the traffic, which means that all the cars disappear completely from the game. Where is this car going? Really? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my God, where is this car going? There is no road here. Arrest this guy! You're not allowed to go there! <laughs> this is crazy! Anyway, let's click on the, uh, on the button here. So, you ready guys? Let's click on this button here. Boom! Are you sure? Yes! And now you have a ghost city 
there are no cars at all and as you can see your traffic flow what it's 45 with no cars okay 70 uh, 67 now 75 of course it will go up to 100 or something like that because there is no one at the moment using our city so thank you very much guys for watching this video i think uh, we're done with today uh, as always please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more episodes like this that i will release uh, in the following days if you enjoy the video please uh, like the video leave some comment give me some feedback tell me what you wanna uh, you know me to do uh, for the next episodes and thank you again guys bye